Hi everyone. Well, I'm going to do a, a quick YouTube. We just uncovered today, which is very exciting. You can see the plants look super inside the huts. We removed the microfoam and we uncovered outside to all the containers. It was a beautiful day and it was great camaraderie. It was good to see the guys back. Uh, we shared some adventures about the winter, but I just want to show you a plant that you might not be aware of that has tremendous possibilities in shade gardens into partially sun. This is Luzula. I don't know if you're familiar with Luzula. This is Luzula multiflora. It's native in quite a few places, but it's it's native to northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin, and has a beautiful beautiful foliage. It gets around uh, 12 inches tall, dense, somewhat loose foliage, dark brownish flowers. But it's a great uh, ground cover in dry soil to average soil. So if you're looking for something to introduce yourself to, and for you to introduce yourself to something that could be probably exciting in some of your shade gardens, look for Luzula uh, multiflora, and then incorporate it in some of your sedge plantings, your carex plantings. It's a great addition and has a beautiful texture to the narrow foliage of uh, a carex pennsylvanica. So, okay, this is a short YouTube, but I thought when I'm walking by the Luzula, and why not share this with everybody? Luzula multiflora, see what you think. Hi everyone, we uncovered last week, so I thought I'd take a quick walk through the, the huts tonight, and I wanted to show you a few sedges that I was walking through that blend in well with uh, sedge matrix communities, uh, like the Carex pennsylvanica, Carex albicans, uh, more mounding ones, and also Carex granularis, which gets a little taller. But this is a nice one called Carex hirsutella. Let's take a look at it. The cool thing about it, it has a, uh, pubescent, kind of hairy foliage. You can't really see it right now, of course. It's in the two and a half inch container and they're just greening up right now. But it's a great plant to kind of spot in. It's vertical, it will lean over. So you don't want to put too many in because it could look uh, unkept. But if you just scatter them through the sedge matrix, it's a great plant because of its dark and pubescent foliage. And it's easy to grow and it grows in dry soil. So you can put it in a drier location but it's also very forgiving to, to average to slightly moist, but prefers dry soil, kind of rocky, gravelly soil. Okay, that was one. Now, let's see, let me walk a little farther along. I really like this next one because it's very architectural. Where is it? Here it is. Carex gracilima. It has wider foliage. This gets around, a, it could get three or four feet tall. I see the foliage is wider. But when you look it up online and you see the, the blooms are so gentle and delicate, it looks like little thin floating fingers when it blooms. And it, it, it looks nice, actually mixed with some hostas as they come up, because the hostas will support the plant as it leans over. Or also uh, Actea, uh, Racemosa. It really, it just needs a little support vertical plant with it because it does lean over, but it blooms so beautifully in such a soft flower. And this is uh, Carex uh, uh, gres gracilima, Carex gracilima. So I've been growing these for, I don't know, maybe nine years now, 10 years actually, and I've misplaced them. And usually I, I, I misplace them because I, I put too many groups in. I put I made the group too big and it kind of fell over and looked messy. So I think when you, when you place them and have a more compatible group, just little moments, this is a, uh, Carex humilis. This is very nice for dry soil. Does a great job in, in drier soil. Mixes well with pen sedge and Carex blanda also. So anyway, thanks for giving me a couple minutes of your time. And uh, we'll follow this up with a few more walks through the huts to look at some other plants and some other sedges. All right, everybody. Have a good night.